So for some reason, once again, people were asking for another reaction to this week's chapter of My Hero Academia. Chapter 317. I'm looking at this cover page and my oh my. Izuku just looks, he looks done. Like, yo, like, my man gets some character development. It's honestly very exciting. His last chapter just left on such a crazy note with All for One just saying, you're next. That, that got me hyped. So just like, people were saying that apparently this chapter is even more hype than the previous chapter. And I don't know, last chapter was really good. Like, 316, I loved it. You, you can go back and look at my reaction. I was just hyped up. Like, it was pure adrenaline. Just being able to see the development of Izuku slowly losing kind of like that childlike mentality, becoming more jaded. And I mean, th this cover page, I'm looking at right here, 317, just Izuku's eyes. Like, you can see the tiredness, like the bags under his eyes, like the shading Horikoshi Sensei's doing. Just everything about this just looks great. So I'm just, I'm excited to dive into this chapter. But uh, anyways, okay, so to get some clarification, as always, I'm not going to be showing the images on screen. The reason why, copyright, I know, but that's just how it is. If you want to know what I'm reacting to, pull up the chapter alongside of me. I will link, you know, a uh, link to the chapter in the description if you do want to pull it up and read it beside me. But uh, yeah, let's uh, begin. So I'm on page one, there's 18 pages, so ch uh, chapter 317, titled, Scars, Blood, Filth. What a, what an interesting title. So anyways, I'm gonna begin now, so let's see what this is about. Okay, we may have escaped that explosion by the skin of our teeth, but the blast erased any trace of the league. Have we extracted anything more from Nagan? Okay, so from what I'm getting from this is nobody was actually injured. I mean, it makes sense. Izuku rushed in by himself. We know for a fact that All for One is not going to kill Izuku because he, he's having this whole game. He wants to quirk. So Izuku is technically safe. So we knew that. And technically, the only one that would have been in there would have been Endeavor. But an explosion, Endeavor, kind of fire-based? I don't think explosions would do a whole lot to him. Especially since it's, like, very heated and all that. Who knows? But, uh... Okay, so nobody was injured. Let's see, have we extracted anything more from Nagant? Not happening. She's in such bad shape, the folks at Central Hospital say they don't even know how she's alive. So Nagant is alive. Okay, that is very interesting. So she did survive, but she's so broken and bad shape. She can, hmm. I don't know, I, I feel like there's going to be an overhaul situation. As I talked about, I feel like overhaul is going to play a huge role with Nagant. I know many might be thinking like Aerie, that, that's what people are thinking, but I really think it's going to be overhaul. I feel like overhaul somehow is going to meet up with Aerie and his old man, and, and there's something going to happen. There's going to be some development or something with overhaul. I, I'm really looking forward to that, seeing what Horikoshi Sensei wants to do, but Nagant, I feel like it isn't the last we've seen of her, especially for him to say that, you know, She's obviously still alive somehow, so incredibly important. Okay, a woman inflicted by a powerful despair, still clinging desperately to life. Endeavor, is it time to shake everything on turning this around? Wait, is it time to stake, my bad, to stake everything on turning this around? Uh, maybe we should expand this beyond us and bring in every last remaining hero, informing the others about Midoriya and one for all, and throwing an all-encompass net at the end of investigation. See, that's not gonna work. Look, uh, here, here's the thing, Kamui. If you try to do... Oh, wait, no, this ain't Kamui. Oh, it's Edshot saying it. Okay, my bad. Edshot, you, you need to understand, my man. Like, if you tell everybody about Izuku, it's gonna lead to a lot of problems. People are gonna want to figure out how to get Izuku's quirk, and there's a lot of things that we discussed for a long time about the quirk, like, you know, maybe hypnosis, and we did find out that it's not as easy even with hypnosis thanks to what All for One is trying to do. But the point still stands, though. There's a lot of quirks out there, a lot of mysteries that might even be more powerful than even All for One himself. So we don't really know. I, I feel like like letting the general public know about all for one and one for all and how the quirk works is not really a good idea because it puts a lot more pressure on Izuku, puts a pressure on the heroes surrounding him, pressure on All Might, that people might attack All Might thinking that he still might have the power somehow. There's a lot of things, so I feel like it's just dangerous all around. So it's just, it's not a good thing to do, you know, at shot. I, it's not good to bring more people in. Um, okay, anyways, uh, that business with Lady Nagant made it clear that the uh, brunt of hunting down the League will be left to Midoriya. 
The cops are up to their eyeballs with other problems, and there's been no eyewitnesses accounts of the league for a while. We should put together a special task force before the pool of colleagues we can count on has dried up. Right, Detsu Tagoro quit two days ago. Desu Tagoro? Who, who, who's Desu Tagoro? I feel like I should know that name. Oh, it's him! Okay, the job's been running me ragged. I can't seem to catch a break. And what do we get for it? Rants? Doubts? Rage? Yeah, I know there's still some support for us out there, but... Out of one loud heckler easily drowns out ten fans. I've never felt like this before. I thought I was different. Better. I'm sure we all did once. But nah, I'm no hero. Only human. Whoa. That's... That's a powerful page. Oh my god. That's powerful. It, it, what what really hits home about this page is that you literally see him taking off his hero costume. Like, he takes off his bandana, and when he's just unshackling his entire uniform and just laying it on the ground, and then just walks in regular civilian clothes. It's a... This is a very powerful, powerful scene. Because... He, wasn't he, like, very important? Yeah, okay, they're actually explaining this. Let me, let me read it, and then I'll talk more about him. In the big battle, he led the charge to round up the spy heroes working for the Paranormal Liberation Front. Okay, I thought so. He was very important. He seemed like a hero with some backbone to him. And g Any given uh, hero's Fred could snap tomorrow, and it wouldn't come as a shock. We hear m about more heroes hanging up their costumes every day. Plus, the media's closing in on Deku, since heroes who do quit end up leaking details. <sighs> Okay, so yeah, inviting more people into it wouldn't be good. With law and order all but gone, power runs unchecked in the streets, so he can't let the world learn the truth behind one for all. If that were to happen, Deku would be the one caught in a vicious cycle of negativity. We can sit here all day and prophesize doom, but the fact is doom's already on our doorstep. Yeah, Hawk's saying it like it is. I've been thinking. Okay, before we go to the next page, I, I want to I wanna talk a bit about this man. So... He was a really big, uh, like, deal. Like, he was someone that had a played a part. He got rid of Slide and Go, as you can see in this page here. He caught him and a bunch of other heroes and stuff that was, like, very corrupt. So, it's clear he had, you know, the uh, his heart in the right place. He was a good guy, good hero that believed things. He, he knew the dangers, the risk of going up against villains. It, it's very clear by just what's being st uh, stated here. But what I'm gathering is, is that... It's not the fact that he was scared of the danger that got him, or even risking his life. Like, you know, let's think about Stain's mentality. Like, Stain, once again, he was always a guy that's like, hey, you know, you need to be a hero, you need to be willing to lay down your life if you're a hero. Sacrifice it all. That's what Stain's mentality was, and we saw that through All Might and other heroes, and Izuku's kind of in a similar vein. And when you think about it, this guy obviously, you know, he is actually the full embodiment of what a hero technically is. For instance, standing against the impossible and fighting against certain death. That's what obviously he was doing. But he didn't lay down his, uh, his mantle, his outfit, his hero costume because of that. He laid it down because of negativity, because of those that normally would support him, crushing him and bringing him down below the water. It's very fascinating because we, we've seen since the very beginning of My Hero Academia that uh, heroes are constantly getting praise. That's what's always happened since the beginning of the story. Remember, every time a hero arrives on the scene, you hear the civilians just shouting and happy. It, it's happened throughout almost every single arc that has a villain, you know, against a hero. And seeing the negativity towards the heroes, they're not used to it. They're not used to this type of feedback, this criticism, this very... A, like upset public and I find that cool it's really separating who has a really strong heart and mind from the people around them and it's not just the villains that they have to worry about now it's the criticism from others so yeah really interesting that's a really cool thing that you know Horikoshi sensei added in but okay let me get to you I'm sorry I had to I had to discuss it that was just really interesting okay is all for one planning to be public about Midoriya I mean and one for all. Why not make that his opening move? I just realized my lady has a scar on her eye. Do you, do you see that? She has actually. A, I guess she did get damaged from that fight. Oh my god! I, I didn't think she actually had a permanent scar. I never realized that. Uh, about Midori and me for one for all. Why not make that his opening move? That would force us heroes to mobilize and lock Deku away somewhere safe. So his silence tells us he doesn't want that. Still. Unless Deku and the rest of us are out there taking action, we'll never get any leads. 
not enough cops, not enough heroes. That's interesting. That 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 is a very logical point. You would think that All for One would say something about One for All. He would mention it and corner the users of One for All, but he's never done that. For all the users of One for All, even All Might, someone he even said he hated to his core, he never said what All Might had. That is interesting. I do wonder why that is. Why is that? Because wouldn't it be easier to trap Izuku where he's locked away and he can't really do much? Because wouldn't that benefit, you know, all for one? He would be able to know where Izuku is at at all times. There, there's a lot of questions about that. I do wonder. Hmm. Okay, what what's going on here? Shoto, hey, pick up the phone. Miss call. Oh, wow, Todoroki's trying to call his father. We all have to go stop Toya. Sorry, Shoto, hang in there a little longer because for now I I feel bad for Endeavor. He's he's in a difficult spot because he's having to watch over, you know, Isuku right now, even though he promised his family he'd be dealing with, you know, the whole Dobby situation. Ah, uh, that was mine. Just got word from All Might. Midoriya ran into a second hired What? Alre already? Oh, okay. It's oh whoa. Okay. It's already over. He won. Yo, his hero outfit looks freaking dish. Yo, look at his hero outfit. It's so messed up. It's like ripped and torn. Oh my goodness. Hardikoshi going in on Isaku's design. I'm loving this outfit. It's already over. Kid, that one didn't have any intel. Be careful. He might explode too. Just wait a minute. So he's rushing off again. Just wait a minute. You haven't been eating. All night. You don't have to tag along anymore. I'm... Yo, what? What? Yo, 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 this is... This is... This is a night eye type situation. Oh my god, I just... Oh, I even see... I even see the stuff going on over here. Oh, my, dude, this is literally... This is a night eye situation. Oh my god, the, the, the parallel right now. So it's literally the scene where Night Eye's struggling. He's like, All Might, you need to chill. You need to calm down and all that. And All Might's still like moving, even though he's had a huge wound in his stomach. That's literally what's going on here. Izuku's continuously forcing himself, pushing himself forward and forward, and he's just running himself ragged. That, okay, that. Whoa, let, let me just keep reading. Okay. You don't have to tag along anymore. I thought that's so crazy, Izuku, saying that this little, this fanboy of All Might literally saying that. That is, that's insane. That That's a big deal of development. Really, I'm, now it's your turn. He's thinking of what All for One said. Really, I'm fine. Continue down this path and wait, uh, and what awaits you is an unspeakable, gruesome death. Okay, so he's thinking of All Might's death. No, I can't just listen. What I'm capable of now is on par with you at 100% and with no recoil to boot. Is he? I guess in a way he would be because he has that like fake, you know, uh, you know, 100% he uses. So, I mean, I guess it makes sense. He is kind of an equivalent on par with him. So, I need you to tell the world I am here. You're dead set on keeping me out of harm's way and you have your duty as a wielder of one for all. You don't look back at me anymore. Don't worry about me, really. I swore I'd raise you up and protect you. Wait. But I know how it is. You're the only one who can bear this burden, and I know how crushing it is. Do your best. You deserve to rest. I need to tell you that. Kid. I. Yo. Yo. Yo, that's sad, man. That's, that's, yo, that's freaking sad. So, yo, All Might stretching out, trying to grab this man, and he can't reach it. It's kind of like a hero as well. It's the whole situation with, like, a hero trying to reach out your arm with someone in front of you and try to save them. And that's what All Might's trying to do. And th this is, this is All Might's mentality as well. It's always been, like, about him. Remember, he wants to save people in front of him. Always try to get people and save them if he sees them. And so him stretching out his arm, he's trying to save Isaku. He understands the responsibility and what he's going through, but he still tries to reach out his arm just to tell him he can rest sometimes, because he knows from experience. But he he doesn't 
grab his hand, and he falls down. You can see him, like, crying by himself. And, oh, who is that watching him, by the way? I'll, I'll check in a second. But just, like, oh, that's sad, man. That's so sad. That's so sad. And it's just like, I'm going to back up a page. I'm going to look at this. Uh, it makes sense why he's doing this, because it's like, what All For One said to him. He's like, he's no longer interested in that old Oaf All Might, which makes a lot of sense, because he's no longer the user of, you know, One For All. So he has no care for him, no consideration. So All Might probably could die at any moment. All For One might orchestrate to kill All Might just to upset Izuku even more. And that's what, you know, All, you know, All For One does. He's like a guy that really just tears down his opposing hero, the one that he is constantly up against. So it's probably what he's going to do. He's probably going to take away All Might. But at the same time, he did take away All Might from him, but not in the way we fought, like death. He, ta he took him away because Izuku literally is moving on without All Might. And when you think about what the story's always presented, All Might's always been behind him, always held on to him, always, you know, been there to support Izuku. And All Might not being there is a big deal because it's like, he's finally growing up. He's finally not needing the assistance of All Might, even though technically Izuku needs All Might more than ever at this moment because All Might could tell him what he knows, what he's been through. So it's just, uh, this is... This is sad. This is a really sad freaking... Yo, guys, you, you make me right. You're going to make me want to watch me cry. You're going to want to watch me... Bro, this is not... <laughs> okay, let, let me continue. Oh, my goodness. Like, that... It, yo, I got to admit, though, I love Izuku's outfit design, though. It looks really good. Like, I, he reminds me of a character from a Marvel comic, and I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking Venom or Carnage, but I don't think it's that. But his, his outfit reminds me of something. But okay, I need to tell you that. Let's carry on. Wait, what? Is that freaking Stain? Is that freaking Stain? Yo, yo, yo! Okay, 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 okay! We're getting stained! Oh, okay, let me read this. Okay. They say he appears without a sound, and that he's got a whole mess of quirks in him. That sounds like All for One's ability, right? Or like a Nomu, even. But apparently he goes around helping people. The rumors say he's caked with blood and filth, which cover up his many scars. Looking at him, you never guess he was a hero. Yo, what is Izuku's outfit design? Yo, is that Black Whip coming out of him? Yo, Izuku's design, though. Look at that freaking design. But yo, okay, okay, I, I, the stain though, the, the, the stain. I got, I got. Oh my, oh my. Wait, so you're telling me Stain was watching this? Stain was watching Izuku and All Might. That is so interesting. That is so interesting. I wonder what Stain... I don't think Stain would kill All Might. Stain is not someone that would kill All Might. He said he would die to All Might, though. If there's anyone that would kill him, it would be All Might. So... I don't think Stain is someone that would kill him, because there's no way he would give up his emotions, his his overall mentality, what he wants. I have a feeling, though, Stain is probably going to join Izuku. Something tells me that he is going to join Izuku and help him. Something, something is telling me that. I'm getting that feeling just by Stain arriving like this and Izuku being in the shadows and doing things. It just it makes so much sense. Yo, that's so crazy. A stained and easy good team. Of yo, yo, I need that in my life. I need that in my life. Please, Odakoshi, don't be baiting me. Don't be baiting me. Give me it. Give me it. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. Please. Oh, my goodness. But, okay. Oh. I'm assuming this is it. Uh, end of the chapter. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, my goodness. What a chapter. What a chapter. So, we, we, we have, like, the whole symbolic nature of a hero taking off their costume because of the criticism to Izuku growing up and leaving behind All Might and basically performing what a Prime All Might did to Night Eye to just the worry of All Might's impending doom to just, like, 
All Might failing to reach out a hand and save someone in front of him. Stain watching. The outfit costume of Izuku. Just like, yo, what a freaking chapter, man. This is some hype. So anyways, guys, I think I want to wrap up the video here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you either enjoyed it or hated it. How do you feel about Stain appearing? How do you feel about Izuku's outfit and him saying he no longer needs All Might to follow him? To All Might, you know, failing to save Izuku, not reaching for his hand. To just the worry that All Might's impending doom is coming. To just heroes, you know, putting down their outfits and their gauntlets and mantle because of the criticism from the public instead of worrying about dying from villains. Just tell me your overall thoughts how you feel because it's just like what a chapter what a freaking chapter of my hero academia But anyways guys be safe stay healthy chibi out